What is up guys? Welcome back to Overspray. In today's video, many of you guys have been asking me about the new DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun and what are my final thoughts on the new DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun and not only that, how does it compare to the SRI Pro? So all those questions are going to be answered in this video, so stay tuned. following my channel you guys know that I recently did a couple videos uh, not only with the DV1 smart repair spray gun but also the SRI Pro now what are my first impressions with the DV1 smart repair spray gun um, I think it's everything that you know about the spray gun and more what I mean by that is this is a highly anticipated spray gun um, I have been waiting to get my hands on this for weeks. I finally was able to spray with it and my honest opinion on this spray gun is it's amazing. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the features of the gun. So let's go ahead and zoom you guys in and let's talk about it. All right, so let's go ahead and measure how heavy the SRI Pro is in comparison to the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. So I went ahead and zeroed out my gate, my uh, scale, and let's go ahead and put this little guy on the scale. As you guys can see right here, about 15.9, which is right around a pound. Now let's go ahead and do a comparison to with the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. and right at 12 ounces that is super light um <laughs> like i said much lighter than the sri pro like i said more comfortable just about in every single category the dv1 just seems to be an all-around better gun all right so taking a look at the new dv1 smart repair spray gun up close let's go ahead and really look at it now, first impression, this is probably one of the most comfortable spray guns that I own. Um, it's lighter, it's faster than the, than the uh, SRI Pro, and, and in many ways, it's pretty much better in every single category than the SRI Pro um, in comparison. So it's much lighter, like I said, more comfortable. The trigger actually has some sort of uh, Teflon coating on it, which makes it a little bit more uh, sticky trigger, um, which adds to a little bit uh, finer control. The knobs are really nicely machined and super buttery smooth. The air valve on the bottom is kind of like this uh, flush mounted uh, style, which you could see on the um, on the larger brother and sister spray guns, the DB1 Base and the DB1 uh, Clear. Also, the air cap is a quick twist and remove, as you guys can tell right there. Um, but honestly, this is probably the best gun that I own. I, I'm not going to lie. Now, in comparison to the SRI Pro, however, um, it feels, <laughs> it almost feels like a brick. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. In comparison to the DV1 Smart Repair, the SRI Pro feels like a brick. It's heavier, it's thicker. It's, uh, it's got, you know, a, a bit of weight to it. 
The trigger is also a further pull, whereas the DB1 Smart Repair is pretty much a short, uh, short throw trigger. Um, but in comparison, like I said, the SRI Pro just feels almost like clunky. You could you could tell the gun is dated. Um, now, as far as coatings go, yes, it does have a nice smooth coating, but I did notice that paint likes to stick to this easier than paint sticking to the black coating so i did notice that as a major difference also the air cap is much smaller in size in comparison to the dv1 uh, smart repair spray gun as you guys can see right there the the only benefit that the sri pro has um, is it's you're able to achieve very similar finishes than the dv1 smart repair spray gun um, they both seem to spray just around the same. I uh, got a little bit more control and better atomization out of the DV-1 Smart Repair spray gun. Um, this one renders a 7.9 inches uh, fan pattern, which is very large for a mini spray gun. You wouldn't uh, imagine that uh, size of a spray pattern uh, for a spray gun this size. All right, furthermore, taking a look at the trigger on the DV-1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. So let's see if we can get that camera to focus real quick. Might have to manually focus it. There you go. So as you guys can see, we don't have a trigger piston anymore. Um, all the regulation is basically done internally uh, using the movement of the needle. And that is pretty um, simple design. It what, it what it renders is a much softer trigger, as you can see right here. Much smoother, much softer, um, easier to control. Alrighty, so taking a look at the SRI Pro, you can see the difference in the trigger design in comparison to the SRI, uh, excuse me, the DV1 Smart Repair. You can see that there's no trigger piston, but on the SRI Pro, here is the trigger piston right behind the trigger. So you can see that, well, we have the trigger piston and we have the needle. So that's gonna make for a much heavier um, trigger or trigger pull, I should say, much more clunky. Um, just, it doesn't feel as solid as the DV-1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. Uh, like I said, in many ways, the DV-1 Smart Repair Spray Gun is just overall better. It's a better spray gun. I think it's well worth the money. Um, now, I did pay $4.99 for this spray gun. Um, I have been seeing them on eBay, um, but I'm not sure if they are real or fake, if there's even fake ones out yet. I'm not sure, but um, I have find I found the gun for right around 400 bucks on eBay from a seller. Um, but you're going to have to do your homework on that one to see, make sure it's a legit gun and, and all that. Um, this setup that I have here came with a 1.0 tip and a 1.2 tip. And it also came with the uh, HVLP S1 Plus uh, spray uh, with this uh, air cap. So the HVLP S1 air cap, much larger fan. This is this air cap renders the largest fan out of all the DV-1 kits. So if you're trying to get a large fan, this is the air cap that you want to get. Um, like I said, first impression of this gun is absolutely amazing. This gun is um, everything that I expected this gun to be and more. So uh, let's go ahead and check the spray patterns on both of these guns. And uh, well, let's just see what the difference is as far as spray patterns. Alrighty, so in this comparison, I'm going to go ahead and put some water on the spray gun. We're going to take a look at the fan size that can be produced with the SRI Pro. Then we are going to go ahead and grab the DV-1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. Go ahead and compare the fan size and also the fan pattern to each other and see which one has the best pattern, uh, the largest spray pattern, the better atomization. Um, better control, etc., etc., etc. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the spray pattern that the SRI Pro can produce.
<laughs> I spilled on myself. Now let's go ahead and spray it on the piece of paper, see what kind of size we get. So we went ahead and tested out the SRI Pro. Now let me go ahead and switch to the DB1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. Let's go ahead and compare the two spray patterns. So now we're going to go ahead and test out the spray pattern with the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. Like I said, we're just using some water here. Um, so let's go ahead and test this out. All right, so in comparison, the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun, as far as the spray patterns go, you can see that DV1 Smart Repair renders a much larger spray pattern. Um, but not only that, it has a more of a linear or linear uh, spray pattern. You know, nice and I guess you could call it an eye pattern, just like a, what SATA calls their, their patterns. Um, whereas this one is a bit more of a football shape style uh, spray pattern. Um, both are going to render very good results, um, but I imagine that this is going to be better results for metallic paints. You're probably going to have more control with this type of spray pattern. Not only that, um, you're going to have more coverage um, because you have a much more linear, much more larger spray pattern. Um, overall, just like I said, the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun is just better in many different ways. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the one category that the DV1 doesn't beat the SRI in. Alrighty guys, so what are my final thoughts about the DeVilbis DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun? Do I like it? Do I recommend it? Um, yes, I do like it. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, this is by far probably one of the best smart repair spray guns I have ever owned, period. Um, I have owned the SRI Pro. I have owned the SRI, um, the first SRI that had the blue body or the bluish colored body. Um, I've had um, a knockoff guns, you know, I've had Harbor Freight mini guns, all sorts of different guns, um, but this one by far takes it all. Um, it's, like I said, all the features of it is just a better gun all the way around um, over the SRI. The SRI Pro, when, when you pick up these guns in comparison, 
the gun just feels dated. The SRI Pro just feels dated. When you pick up this gun, you're like, wow, all right, I, I see the difference. Um, I even had my neighbor, which, you know, pretty much knows nothing about, you know, paint guns, but I gave him both paint guns and I said, hey, what do you think? He's like, wow, this one's super light and the trigger feels really, really nice in comparison to that one. And he has no idea about guns, but obviously there's a major difference with the um, DB1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. Um, now, like I, I, I did mention, there's only one category where these things uh, compete with each other, and that is going to be the finished result, right, or the end result. I can achieve the same result with either gun, and that has nothing to say really about the tool itself. That really has everything to do with the person painting, right? The, the paint guns are your paintbrush, and the painter is the artist. And you can manipulate the way that this gun sprays to spray the same as the DB1 Smart Repair Spray Gun. Yes. Can I get the same results with this gun than I can with this gun? Yes. Um, but that's all going to be on the painter. But this gun, however, is better. It's faster. It's lighter. It's more ergonomic. The trigger feels better. It's, it has better grip because of the Teflon coating on the trigger. Um, it's just much easier to get that type of result than with the SRI Pro. You're literally fighting the gun to try to get that, that result, whereas the DV1 Smart Repair, it's almost effortless. Um, now, there, you know, there is more technique, obviously. That comes down to the, the painter itself, his technique and all that. But um, it, it literally felt... Um, like it was just much easier with this spray gun. So with that, I will say the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun is hands down the best gun I probably own, bar none. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see these guns in action, the DV1 Smart Repair Spray Gun or the D, uh, DV1, uh, sorry, the uh, SRI Pro. I have videos on both of these, so at the end of the video, I'll leave you guys uh, some links where you guys can check out either either uh, spray gun video, and you guys could see um, how both of those uh, guns actually sprayed. Um, I'm not going to be able to spray in this video. I one, I have nothing to to paint at the moment, and two, I'm not just going to waste a bunch of paint just to to show a video. So. Um, anyways, with that, stay spraying. We'll catch you guys on the next one.